So how can you post on the community tab to help grow your YouTube channel faster? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to unlock the community tab and what posts you should be posting if you actually wanna do it effectively. Let's get into the content. All right, so the first thing that we gotta figure out is if you actually meet the requirements to be able to get a community tab, all right? Creators with over 500 subscribers have access to community posts, right? Now, you're probably like, oh, well, I got 500 subscribers already. Why don't I have my community tab? Well, pay attention to this, right? So it says it will take up to one week to see the community tab after passing 500 subscribers. So if you haven't yet got it and it's been more than seven days, just give it a little bit more time, YouTube will eventually roll that out to you, all right? Now, another thing for you to understand about community posts is that they always appear on the community tab and the home feed and the subscriptions feed, right? So that gives you an idea of where the visibility is gonna be for the people that may find your stuff. Now, what's interesting as well is that your stuff can actually show up to people who are not subscribed to you. Now, that right there is an absolute game changer because it gives you more visibility, extremely powerful. Now, let's go over here to the main page, right? So this is the YouTube homepage. So usually right after about the first eight videos that you see here, down in like this section right here, you'll see like it'll open up and then you'll see um, like community posts from other creators that you're subscribed to or not subscribed to, all right? And then as far as another section, like it said, the subscriptions feed, whether you're on mobile or desktop and you're clicking the button on mobile, same exact thing, they'll show up there as well, right? So you can see that there's quite a bit of, uh, you know, you can get quite a bit of engagement with these, with these showing up in all of these different places, okay? All right, so now what I'm about to do is I'm about to take you over to the most common place that you're gonna see uh, your the community post, which is the community tab. So if you see right here, right, when I click on the community tab, all you have to do is go over to any channel that has the community tab, click this right here, and then if you have it, you'll be able to make a post, and I'm gonna show you how to make posts and what posts to make here in a few seconds. All right, so I went ahead and I created this Google Doc just for you. So if you wanna follow along with me as I'm continuing to go throughout this and break this down, you can go ahead and use the first link down below in the description and that'll allow you to download this very, very easy, all right? All right, so let's get into it. So as we go down, right, most people wanna know, what should I be actually posting on my YouTube community tab, right? So the first type of post you wanna be posting is a text post, right? And to give you an example, as you can see right here, I said, if you could rank number one on YouTube for any search term, what would it be? Now, that post had 10 comments and four likes. Now, the whole purpose of your, com your community tab, in my honest opinion, is to be able to gather data from your audience to see what are the things that they're dealing with, what are some tools that they're using, and maybe they want more insight on, right? And as we continue to go down, you'll be able to see this, but you wanna ask questions that pertain to your audience. And when you do this, you put it out and you see what they say and you react, right? And show that throughout your content. All right, so those are text posts. Now, if you wanna see the actual post because I didn't wanna show the comments from the other creators because maybe they don't want their stuff you know, on my cheat sheet because I knew I was gonna make this. And if you wanna see the actual post, all you have to do is just click this link, all right? All right, let's go to the next type of post. So a text with an image, all right? So you can use up to five images images with each post, all right? So whatever you wanna do, you can get creative, go on Canva, create some stuff to kind of make it stand out and so on and so on, but you got up to five images. The next thing is it has to be up to 16 MB in size and have a one-to-one -one ratio, all right? So I would just, you know, kind of look that up to see exactly what that is. Usually what they're talking about is something that's not extremely wide because sometimes when I was uploading, I would find that if the if the if the uh the picture was too wide then i would have to kind of shrink it a little bit to kind of make it skinnier in the vertical form and then it will upload it will upload you know without any issues right so that's just something to keep in mind and then the file types jpeg uh png gif or web page right and i'm going to show you a gif example here in a minute as well all right all right so this right here was actually my first community post that i made right i made it on my birthday right i turned 30 years 
years old uh, in 2021. And then I just basically said, hey, I turned 30. It's been 30 years. And I appreciate all the support that my subscribers were showing me on the channel, right? So that's me connecting with my audience, but showing, sharing something personal. So you can do something personal to you, but that's also going to, you know, depend on the type of, I guess, the relationship you have with your audience, right? So that's very, very important to understand. Now, how much engagement did this get? This got 15 likes and it got 10 comments. And once again, I didn't show their comments. If you want to see the real post, just go ahead and click this link right here. Now, the next type of post is a text with a GIF. Now, I tried out the GIF. Now, as we can see, uh, that got 26 likes, which was, you know, pretty high. And then we got 16 comments on that. And then pretty much I did the same thing with the link. You can go and check out the post. But with this, this is a gift. And I just basically said, whoa, I just hit, uh, we just hit 1,000 subs, subs. And I'm extremely grateful for all the support that my subscribers were showing, right? So once again, showing that support to your audience. That's very, very important, all right? All right, so now let's go to the next type of post. And this right here is my absolute favorite. And I believe you should be doing this and you shouldn't be leveraging this just with your text. I think the, the easiest way for your audience to respond is to just tap a button. And this is why I love polls because not only does it make it easy for your audience, but it also gives you more content ideas. What do I mean? So like, for example, I asked this question five days ago at the time that I'm recording this. It says, how long did it take you, you to hit 1,000 YouTube subscribers? And then I put in the poll, did it take you one to six months? Did it take you seven to 12 months? months, 12 to 18 months, and then 19 months. And then check this out. I said, I don't have 1000 subs yet, but I'm on my way. I made that an answer, right? So you can make the answer whatever you want. So you really want to be creative um, when you're when you're putting this be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Make your make your 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 answers intriguing so they, they actually want to you respond to the poll. You know what I mean? But with this, right, I can use this to say, okay, it's 75 percent of people said they don't actually have 1000 subs. So I can take that data and say, okay, how what kind of content can I create? that can help these people that don't yet have the, the 1,000 subs, what type of content can I create to help them get there a lot faster, right? That's one way that can help me, you know, create even more content. Now, let's take a look at my other one. And the same thing applies. It got eight comments and there's a link for it. Now, let's go down to this one. Now, this one is a, is a great example as well. So I said, which YouTube helper tool are you currently using? And then I put um, TubeBuddy, I put morning fame as a choice i put vid iq as a choice and then i said uh there's probably going to be some people who don't use any tools at all right so if you look right here 29 percent of people use TubeBuddy in my audience uh we also got eight percent that use morning fame within my audience and then we got 42 percent that actually use vid iq so that's actually some good data because that tells me that majority of my audience uses vid iq right and then check this out they don't use any helper tools at all so it may still be beneficial for them for me to create content around these tools because maybe they don't know how beneficial those tools will be to them and then for the people who are using the tools i can create more content on those tools to show them how to use those tools better because some of the people that are using those tools there may be things that they may not even know about those specific tools that they're using right and they can get a a little bit more insight so that's how you can take some of these community tab posts especially with these polls use that data to then go and create content that's going to help your audience grow to how they want to grow right so it's very very powerful to be able to use these type of posts now i'm about to show you exactly how to make the post if i come right here it shows me share a behind the scenes photo so let's say for instance i'm creating content and maybe i want to give people like a view of me working in, you know, here in my, uh, here in my office and give you, you know, show you kind of the process that I'm going through. I can lay out behind the scene photos. You see what I mean? So it's like you giving people that behind the scenes as if you went to like some type of concert and you get to go in the back, they get to see you putting in the work, see how you record your videos, even get like, if you want thumbnail ideas, maybe you can put up 
uh, you know, does this thumbnail make you click more or this thumbnail, right? It's many different things that you can actually do with this. Now, let's actually show you how to do it. So if I was to do a poll post, because I love doing those, I would be like, how long does it take to get 100 subs? Or how long did it take you, right? That's what I meant to put. How long did it uh, did it take you? Oh, I gotta make sure I got my stuff right today. How long did it take you to hit to get 100 subs? And then I would make this a poll, and then I would do similar to how I did on the other one. One to six months, right? And then seven to 12 months, and then so on and so on. And I can keep adding options, and then I can just go ahead and hit post or I can schedule the post, right? So if I wanna schedule it, I click this, and then I set the date, I go ahead and choose my time, I go ahead and choose the uh, the you know the time zone that I'm in, and then boom, that's how I go ahead and make my post. And the same thing applies if I'm trying to do a video, right? So with videos, you can actually do um, like let's say let's say for instance, you know, I'm not trying to necessarily show them my video. Let's say I want to show them a video that's revolved around making money. I can grab any video or I can take the URL of whatever that video is. And then over here, I could just use my videos, right? And then let's say for instance, I wanna use this video right here. I hit select and then I just share. I don't just wanna share the video by itself. I wanna share why I believe they should be watching the video. And that's how you do it differently rather than just putting your video in the feed because maybe that isn't intriguing enough even for your audience to actually want to click on it just because they see your video just kind of randomly showing up, right? So just keep that in mind when it comes to your YouTube community tab. So hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also drop me a comment down below, letting me know any additional questions that you have. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.